Welcome to day 49 as we work through the New City Catechism during these daily devotions. Question 49 says this, where is Christ now? And here's the answer. Christ rose bodily from the grave on the third day after his death and is seated at the right hand of the Father, ruling his kingdom and interceding for us until he returns to judge and renew the whole world. Where is Christ now? Christ rose bodily from the grave on the third day after his death and is seated at the right hand of the Father, ruling his kingdom and interceding for us until he returns to judge and renew the whole world. And the reading today is from Ephesians chapter 1, verses 20 and 21. Ephesians 1, Apostle Paul writing, He raised Christ from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly realms, far above all rule and authority, power and dominion, and every name that is invoked, not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. And the reflection today is written by David Bisgrove. No doubt you've heard the phrase, out of sight, out of mind. Someone who's not around, whom you haven't seen in a long time, doesn't have much impact or relevance in your day-to-day life. The Bible tells us that after Jesus' resurrection, he ascended into heaven, disappearing from view, out of sight. But we're also told that because of where he now resides, we can be assured that he's relevant in our daily lives. So where is Jesus now? He's seated at the right hand of God the Father. But what difference does that make to us in our day-to-day lives? Well, First, it reminds us that Jesus rules over all creation. When you struggle with discouragement or disappointment or bitterness about the way your life is going, or when you're discouraged and angry about all the injustice and evil in the world, consider where Jesus is now. He's at the right hand of God the Father. See him there. The one who conquered death is now ruling the world. Ephesians chapter 1 says that Jesus was given all authority and will one day return and make the crooked places straight. So let where Jesus is now give you hope and courage to trust and follow him. But there's even more. Not only is Jesus the king who rules, but he is the priest who intercedes. Hebrews chapter 10 tells us that Jesus is the great high priest who on the cross offered himself as the ultimate sacrifice for sin. He is now interceding and praying for us at the Father's right hand. So to see Jesus at God's right hand as our great high priest is to remember that there is now no condemnation for our sin, that Jesus sacrificed himself so that we could be united with him. We have the full rights, therefore, as God's children. So yes, Jesus is out of sight, we can't physically see him, but he is active in our day-to-day lives and in this world at the right hand of God the Father, ruling as our king, interceding as our priest and waiting to return when he will wipe away every tear, beat swords into plowshares and flood the world with his glory and grace. Where is Jesus right now? Well, he's at the right hand of the Father, seated on his throne, ruling over all creation and interceding for us. What a comforting truth, as David Bisgrove has so helpfully reminded us. When things don't go the way that we want them to go in life, when injustice seems to prevail, when life sucks and evil people seem to get the upper hand, when the world or our lives seem a mess, where we have a king, we have a priest, a king priest ruling on a throne. You see, he's also a priest. He's not just a king, he's also our high priest, one who is interceding for us. 
He's pleading our case. He's praying for us. His presence in heaven is a permanent guarantee of our forgiveness and acceptance by the Father. We are secure for all eternity because our kingly great high priest is ruling and reigning in heaven right now. He is out of sight for sure, but he's not out of mind and he's certainly not irrelevant. His presence there guarantees our eternal future. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, thank you that you are risen and ascended and seated at your Father's right hand, reigning over creation and interceding for us. Thank you that we are eternally secure because you are on the throne right now. We thank you in your name. Amen. Thanks for joining me today. See you next time.